चीफ रखो बेटे ओके सो बेटा यू आर जवाद आसिफ यस सर कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन हैविंग क्वालिफाइड द रेशन पार्ट इन योर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट थैंक यू सर आई सी हेयर दैट लाहौर हैपन्स टू बी योर फेवरेट सिटी यस सर मैं यहाँ से यू कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑन लाहौर श्योर सर ओके कैन यू टेल मी वट इज Chuburji, there is a monument yes, called Chuburji. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. What is Chuburji? What is its significance? Because answer so well, you know. Sir, uh, the significance of Chuburji can be segregated into two domains. The first one is its its, its historical significance. It is named after uh, Chaw Burj, four minarets that are uh, that constitute Chuburji, and it it was named after the daughter of Shah Jahan. uh right after the death of his uh, his, uh, his wife mumtaz shah jahan was taken care by his daughter uh, mumta uh, jahanara jahanara and sir it is also said as said to be as the a door to the garden of moguls uh, which is a village named Not a as door entrance to the entrance mughal to garden, the mughal garden. All right. okay thank you beta can you tell me what is the significance of kartarpur for the sikh community Sir Kartarpur holds a very uh, significant uh, place for the Sikh community as uh, because of the Dera Baba Nanak. It is said that the Baba Nanak stayed there for 18 years of his life, and by the owner of and by the uh, major village holder, he was awarded a huge land land mass on which he kept on uh, used for agriculture. Later on, he died there and. Uh, since he holds a very religious significance for the sikh community so that is why it holds a significance for pakistan as well and as <clears throat> pakistan guarantees uh, the minority rights as per uh, the article 36 so i believe it is significant for both sikhs and pakistan are you aware that he is cremated there as well as buried in kartarpur yes sir he is cremated and buried in kartarpur that's a very interesting it. story which you can follow up on in your own spare time yes sir all right <clears throat> let's move on but biden the new us president has hinted that he might go back on trump's decision to withdraw us troops from afghanistan in may this year yes sir trump had said that yes, he sir. will withdraw troops biden might go back there is a perception that if foreign troops are withdrawn from afghanistan it will result in chaos and civil war now what in your opinion would be in pakistan's interest should foreign troops continue staying in afghanistan for an extended period or should they be withdrawn by may this year as envisaged by trump so your questions uh, can be answered in two domains as regards pakistan stake i believe limited uh, number of foreign should, troops should be allowed to stay in afghanistan in order to secure the security position in the region however sir as regards uh, this the the withdrawal the abrupt withdrawal of the forces it would ultimately result into a trust deficit between taliban and uh, the us forces because right. it has already been 14 months uh, 12 months and a 14 months plan was given to them and still none of uh, the personnel of the forces has been withdrawn so and this has re- re- resulted into a catch 22 situation because uh, in terms of the taliban prisoners and the us Uh, uh stance on not releasing them so i believe this will uh, ultimately deteriorate uh, the situation in internal afghanistan for that we need to consider the internal groups and power groups of afghanistan which is majorly based on general ismail and uh, 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 mullah brother and uh, and the others all right i'll ask you just one last question yes sir who was alfred nobel and what are the nobel prizes Sir Alfred Nobel was an innovator and he invented dynamite. Uh Nobel prizes uh, are named after his uh, Alfred Nobel. Uh there is an interesting story associated to Alfred Nobel. His brother died and uh, accidentally the newspaper published the death of Alfred Nobel instead of his brother and it was named an obituary was, they published his obituary. Okay. Yes sir. And it was uh, named as uh, so i'm sorry cannot recall the exact words but that was the death of uh, the, the headline in the newspaper next day was the merchant of death yes sir is sir. dead yes sir exactly the merchant of death is dead and that actually struck alfred nobel that 
with what words people are going to remember him so he decided to uh, uh, give out all his wealth to charity and nobel prizes eventually were given were started from 1901 in this regard only two personnel from pakistan has been awarded have been awarded nobel prizes who are those sir it is dr abdul salam and malala yousafzai both Ashan. of them have shared the nobel prizes all right good thank you over to you uh, <coughs> jawad something about the international affairs Yes, Will you educate us on the possibility of Pakistan to recognize Israel? Sir, as regards possibility, Pakistan can definitely recognize Israel, but there are multiple uh, benefits as well as challenges associated to this. Sir, as regards benefit, Pakistan can play a very significant role in U.S. lobby because the U.S. Uh, because Israel get to play a key role in U.S. lobby, and as regards Kashmir, Pakistan would be able to bring the big power on the table to negotiate Kashmir with India. and sir as regards the challenges uh, i in, in my limited knowledge if we recognize israel will be going to make friends across the sea and keeping in view the conditions between israel and iran by making a friend across the sea will be making a four four right at our border so we need to consider the relations between iran and israel as well before recognizing israel and sir secondly as regards the religious community i believe sir the religious community is also not ready to recognize and to accept the fact that pakistan can take many political economic and social benefits from israel uh, by recognizing it so uh, currently i won't i would say that pakistan is uh, not close or not in a position to recognize israel but in the far uh, future i believe uh, pakistan can take much benefits from it okay um CPAC is a great uh, trade initiative. How can it help Pakistan to industrialize and boost its economy? Sir, definitely CPAC uh, is a very significant step in developing Pakistan's economy, as it is its huge uh, investment of sixty-one billion dollars can help Pakistan to burgeon every sector of its economy. Sir, as regards how it can help, it can first of all the first thing that Pakistan needs to focus upon is its western route. along with the economic developments it can also help pakistan to stabilize itself politically in terms of balochistan episode and the grievances that the people of balochistan hold in terms of uh, the economic development of balochistan for that pakistan needs to mobilize its allied industry with the route ultimately this allied industry will burgeon the services sector and the people will when they will get associated with the services sector they'll get employment and sir as regards the unemployment factor there is a one little ambiguity about cpac that it is a debt trap so i would like to also comment on it if you allow me certainly certainly you welcome thank you sir sir even if it is let's see let's suppose for a moment if it, even if it is a debt trap it is a sustainable debt trap because it will the investment will stay in pakistan the industry will stay in pakistan it will mobilize pakistan's workforce along with playing a very efficacious role in pakistan's economy so it the role and how to utilize cpac ultimately now depends on pakistan how to use it for the betterment and the future of pakistan so i believe sir cpac in can play a very significant and efficacious role in every sector of pakistan pakistan has given its warm waters to china although russia has been struggling for a long time for the warm waters is pakistan going to benefit uh, appropriately out of it so it depends on the future uh, policies of pakistan but as regards my limited limited knowledge pakistan is uh, of course going to benefit from the cpac and sir it is not giving the warm waters it is about the mutual development project it is a concept of mutual development because as said by the chinese president pakistan and china uh, are uh, the uh, the friends with the manifest i'm sorry sir i forgot okay. the quote sir okay. let's 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 move further what are the prospects of tourism industry in pakistan what are major categories of tourism in pakistan isme main add kar do thoda sa and how would you what my years would you suggest to promote international tourism in the country That's right, so sir. combine the two questions so i would like to request uh, to you to grant me 2 to 3 minutes to answer this question sir as regards prospects Uh, Pakistan, keeping in view its geography, its culture, its people, its religious significance, holds a very significant place in terms of tourism. And uh, as projected by Pakistan's government, by 2025, tourism will play a key role by contributing up to one trillion rupees in Pakistan's economy. 
Sir, coming towards uh, the, uh, the categories of the tourism, there are multiple categories sir, that include uh, religious tourism, cultural tourism. Religious tourism includes religious sites, cultural to, uh, just like Kartarpur and other, uh, other multiple sites including Muslim tourism, Buddhism tourism uh, and cultural tourism, historical tourism that include Mohenjo Daro, Texla sites and sir, recreational tourism and mountainous tourism. Uh, recently upon which uh, K2 Winter Summit has been performed. Alpine tourism Alpine we call tourism, it. Yes, yeah. Thank you sir. And uh, sir, has, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry sir, I forgot your uh, question. Can you what my ears would you suggest yes. to promote yes, international tourism? Yes sir. Sir, uh, multiple steps can be taken in this regard. First of all, Pakistan can uh, streamline its uh, PIA in this regard. For instance, uh, a luggage benefit can be given to the international tourists. This would be a very uh, short step that would not require okay, any... Okay, that's one. Lessons. So, go on. Yes, uh, keep sir, counting. And sir, along with that, uh, in, in, in summer season, uh, some fair uh, 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 benefits can be given to the tourists. For example, 40% off on uh, the return ticket to Pakistan in June, July. Mm -hmm. uh, because the mountainous and the KP areas are very much mobilized in in terms of the mountainous tourism. All right. Okay. That's Alpine true. Tourism, sir, which you said. That's perfect. So, uh, and this answer, of course, the, uh, the local development, the infrastructure development, better hotels to stay and better food.